I will show you how to use the 2.13 inch paper head in this video. All the examples used can be downloaded on our wiki. Insert the e paper to your Raspberry Pi. Note that you cannot press the panel directly, which may destroy the display. Download and copy the examples to your Raspbian. Use BCM2835 demo as examples. Open the terminal, enter the folder of BCM2835 which is under the Raspberry Pi directory. Running the chmod command to give the main file executable status. You can also compile code by yourself. In this part, you need to install the BCM2835 library. If you use the wiring pi demo, you also need to install the wiring pi library. Then run the code. With the code running, you can see that the e-paper shows the logo after clearing the screen. Shows circle and line, display text and time. This e-paper supports refresh the whole screen and partial refresh as well. The progress bar shows the function of partial refresh. Using the e-paper with Arduino. Connect the e-paper to your Arduino Uno board pin by pin. Our Uno Plus is compatible with Arduino Uno R3. So we will use the Uno Plus in this part. Open the drawing demo which is under the Arduino directory. You need to install the Arduino IDE on your PC before. Choose the correct development board in the right port, using UNO here for example. Compile and upload the code to the UNO Plus, waiting for uploading successfully. You can see that, initializing the module, clearing the whole screen, then display circles. Open the string demo as well. Choose the correct development board in the right port, using Uno here for example. Compile and upload the code to the Uno Plus, waiting for uploading successfully. Then you can see that, the module is initialized, clear the whole screen, finally display the string as code. Finally, show you how to download the STM32 demo, connect the e-paper to the STM32 development board pin by pin. Using our XNucleo F103RB development board for example. The XNucleo F103RB is compatible with Nucleo F103RB.
You need to install the Kyle 5 in your PC firstly. Open the demo with Kyle software. Then choose the ST Link as Debugger and Programmer. Make sure you have installed the relative pack according to which board you use. Here we use STM32F103RB, so we need to choose the device with STM32F103RB. You can port the code if you use other STM32 boards. IOC file is provided for you to port the code easily. Compile the code and download to the board. The phenomenon of STM32 demo is same as Raspberry Pis. That is all. Thank you for watching.